Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at plate tectonics in general. Now the theory of plate tectonics looks at the whole world and looks specifically about how the tectonic plates move. And uh, you'll be able to see from some of the other videos that I've made uh, about the specific plates, but now we're talking about generally. Why do these plates move? Well, what tends to occur is that um, in deep inside our Earth's uh, structure, um, in the core and in the mantle, we have certain sections of our planet which are uh, superheated. The magma in these areas is much, much warmer or much hotter than in other areas. And because it is hotter, it tends to rise. It has more energy and it rises upwards. As it rises upwards, it reaches the top of the crust and in those areas it finds it very very hard to escape so it gets pushed side by side the friction will obviously pull these plates in the same direction as those convection currents are moving now as um, these move away from the superheated area they become uh, uh, progressively cooler and as you can see they are uh, losing their um, heat and uh, they begin to, to sink back down to the core so you get this notion of a um, cycle, uh, convection currents um, that are operating this large cycle. Superheated it rises, it moves away, it becomes cooler and it sinks and that feeds back into the core and the whole um, cycle is continued. Now on the parts where uh, they move apart, this is where you get your typical um, divergent movements such as constructive plates and you can see that I've marked ridges on there to to, f to indicate that and on the parts where they are converging where they are sinking that's where you get your typical destructive plate boundaries or maybe you get your collisional plate boundaries um, uh, as well now this is this is a general theory of plate tectonics and imagine this uh, throughout the globe obviously this has been very very simplified but it can happen uh, in much more complex patterns and this allows us to predict where we're going to have uh, constructive plates, destructive plates, where we're going to have convergent and divergent plate boundaries. It happens because hot rock rises, heated by the Earth's core. Near the surface the rock spreads in two directions and goes sideways. It begins to lose heat. Eventually, the much cooler rock sinks back down. Through this spreading process, the Earth's crust is very slowly dragged apart. And it's this that ultimately causes the continents to move. Okay, thank you very much for watching and have a really great day.